Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies, who, as you can see, are well clear at the top of League Two. We're top of the league. Oh, we are going up. We're going to go up to League One. I got a good feeling about it. We are uh, most of the way through the season. At this point, we would have to absolutely collapse not to go up to League One. So it's pretty exciting times. Uh, here in Wimbledon. Uh, we're kind of starting the AFC Wimbledon B team. Uh, we've got uh, Borg Warner uh, in, in goal there, uh, alternately Warner Chilcott. Uh, we've got uh, uh, a new player, uh, H. White, the White House, um, there in the, uh, in the back. Someone had a good song for him, but I can't remember what it was. Anyway, it's a... Uh, and then we've got uh, no, no, neither John Green today. We're going to try try to see if we can win a game with no John Greens starting. Um, today's uh, video topic, also from the Project for Awesome. Uh, so during the Project for Awesome, people could donate to uh, the Foundation to Decrease World Suck in exchange for being able to choose the topic of a Wimbly Wombly video. Uh, I want to thank everyone who did that, not only for, uh, for donating, but also for choosing good video topics so that I, you know, can have fun. Oh, it has to be! But it isn't. But it isn't. Anyway, today's topic is from Oliver. And the topic is that, uh, so once while hiding under a table, uh, I was asked whether I liked Gandalf or Dumbledore better, and I said Gandalf. And of course, nerd fighters were scandalized because uh, they are, you know, I don't want to generalize, but overwhelmingly more supportive of, of Harry Potter than, uh, than any other uh, fantasy world, which is great. I love Harry Potter. I love Dumbledore. I think Dumbledore is a first-rate wizard. Um, definitely one of my top five all time. Oh, you don't give up the run. If you hadn't given up the run, you'd be scoring a goal right now. Anyway, definitely one of my top, top five all time wizards. However, Dumbledore is probably my top one all time favorite wizard. Uh, I think like he, I, I think Dumbledore, I mean, uh, Gandalf, sorry. Gandalf is like my top one all time favorite wizard. I think Gandalf invented, I think Gandalf made Dumbledore possible if you know what I mean, like in a literary sense. Um, I think without a pre precursor like Gandalf, there wouldn't, have, you know, there wouldn't have been a character like Dumbledore. Um, I also I like Gandalf because uh, I feel like Gandalf is, is complex, really, really, really complex in his weaknesses and strengths and failures and successes. And I, so is, don't get me wrong, so is Dumbledore. Again, th this is not a... This is not a, you know, good guy, bad guy thing. This is a good guy, better guy thing in my imagination. I don't, and I, 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 I'm terrified of the responses that I'm going to get from people because I, I'm, if I say anything bad about Dumbledore at all. So I'm not going to say anything bad about Dumbledore. I just think that for me, it's Gandalf's, you know, his sacrifice, like his heroic sacrifice in, in, in Lord of the Rings is more uh, like beautifully drawn for me and was more moving um it was you know it was a it, it was a choice it was a difficult choice um and it was a it was like a choice made with full knowledge and there is something i know that's kind of cliche about that and and i get that by the way that was a nice nice punch there from from borg warner uh it's good to see good to see him playing well even though he's not playing often he's mentioned that to me several times in his player emails um I'm like, why don't you guys just call? You don't have to email. It's weird. Anyway. Oh, that's a nice cross. Oh, fully committed going in there. But it was all for naught, like so much effort in this world. Um, you know, plus, like, I grew up, like, the first fantasy book I ever read was The Hobbit, you know? So, like, and Gandalf in The Hobbit is just fantastic. Like, he's a, he's a leader, but he's also sort of, like, a slightly baffled one. You know, uh, like you get the feeling with Gandalf, like I felt like adult. I, I, Gandalf for me, when I was a kid, um, adults reminded me of Gandalf more than they did, more than they would have reminded me of Dumbledore, if that makes sense. Like Gandalf, I, I, I think like at least in The Hobbit is a metaphor for, for adulthood, sort of, you know, like um, or for the way that children see adults. Um, and I think that's true in Harry Potter for Dumbledore, Dumbledore as well. I mean, he is like, you know, kind of the ultimate mentor. It has to be. Oh, he's offside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bamba was offside. He was offside. He was offside. I'm so, so sad. 
Really struggling to score here. Um, but it's early. It's early. We're, only, we're still in the first half. We've got a whole second half to play. Oh, that is disappointing, though, just because you could tell that Yabamba was going to score in there. Yabamba with the cross! Yay, yay, yay! Oh! Great save. Great save. I was going to get to sing both the Yabamba song and the um, Boots Were Made for Strutton song. It was going to be an amazing double chorus of beauty. Oh, come on. Come on! Get down! Oh, you got to get that on goal, or you got to pass it, Yabamba. you got to think a little smarter. You got to think a little smarter. That's disappointing. Newport County with no ch chances whatsoever, but uh, the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombleys, despite several shots, can't make anything happen. Pretty heroic goalkeeping, it must be said, from uh, Newport County's keeper. And a uh, nice save there, I will say, from a uh, nice, nice punch out. But that's that. That's the one that should have gone in. That's disappointing. Um, so I guess yeah. So for me, like that's. That's what I love about Gandalf, but it's probably also quite personal. I mean, I think, like, that's the experience of, of write, writing and reading in general is that, like, it's a very, uh, like, subjective personal experience, difficult to, uh, like, really difficult to quantify. Whenever, like, I've just, um, I've just been asked to be a judge in this, the Morning News' Tournament of Books, which is a really cool uh, book. It's like the March Madness NCAA Men's College Basketball Tournament or women's college basketball tournament. They have two of them. Um, it's like that, It's like that, except for books. And it's funny, and it's done in, like, you know, it's done in good humor. Um, they aren't super serious about it. Oh, the patron saint of lost crosses! Oh, he did a great job keeping possession. Then he did a great job passing, and then it was disappointing. Disappointing finish. Uh, this is a little frustrating. We're going to have to go into attack mode here. But I'm not making substitutions. I promised, I promised the John Greens the day off. Well, one of them's injured, but I promised the other one the day off, and I'm going to deliver. Get in there. You've got to continue your run, strutting on the Ritz. Ah, oh, guys, that's right. At least we're staying attacking. That's good to see. So, um, anyway, I'm judging this, this morning news tournament of books, and uh, I'm realizing, you know, I can write a, I, I can write a book review. I've, I've, I've reviewed books since I was, uh, you know, since like just after I graduated from college. Um, do not say that was a penalty. Please do not. Oh, it was offside. Okay, good. Um, I've reviewed thousands of books, or at least a couple thousand, um, and I know how to do it. But it's very different to be asked to compare books and to say, like, this book is better than that book, which is essentially the, art, the, the task that, like, award committees are given. You know, find the best book of the year. Uh, the Prince Committee finds the best YA book of the year. The Newberry finds the best children's book of the year. Like, that's a very hard job. Because you have to compare uh, books and characters, and, and a lot of times it's very apples and orangey, um, as is the case in the, the one that I've been asked to judge. I can't tell you what, what the two books are yet, but it's very apples and orangey. Like, it's a very difficult thing. And I honestly, like, I feel like uh, I don't feel terribly confident in my decision, to be totally upfront with you. Like, I could be wrong. They're both good books. Um, and that is a little bit the way I feel about uh, it looks like Yabamba's not going to score a goal today. Oh, how did I get, put myself in a situation where I don't have any backup strikers, Meredith? What was I thinking exactly? Oh, maybe I do. Maybe that one's down there at the bottom. I do. Green Eggs and Sheringham. He scored in a loo one time. I don't know if you ever heard about that. Um, oh, and I also have John Green. I don't know how I didn't notice him. But anyway, I'm going with Green Eggs and Sheringham. I really promised John Green the day off, and I'm going to keep my promise. Hell's Pels uh, started on the bench today because of what he did in, in the uh, last game, but I'm bringing him back on. And then I think, um, yeah, I mean, I think we're just, everybody else is going to have to kind of suffer through. So a double switch for the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombleys here in the 67th minute. And uh, we'll see if we can get a goal out of this thing to get more than a point. We are away from home. Uh, so, you know, a point away from home when you're 12 points clear isn't that bad. By the way, if you ever look at the actual... Uh, people in the background, what they're doing, it's very strange. I encourage you during the uh, quiet times in uh, AFC Wimbledon, Wimbley Wombly football to watch the supporters um, doing their weird, like, conga line in place. Uh, it's a very, very strange and uh, beautiful thing. I often think about the guy or, or person who designed that. Um, I think to myself, what was, 
What was that person thinking on that day when they were like, I think I'll give him a conga line. So that's what, that's what supporters do at football games, mostly congas. Um, it does happen occasionally, to be fair. So anyway, my, my point is that it is intensely personal, and I think a lot of it like, ends up reflecting like, your own experiences while you were, uh, while you were reading the book. And I, I, you know, so for me, that means that I read The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings at kind of a more important time of my life um, as a reader than I read um, Harry Potter, you know, which was when I was like, an adult and it's just a different whole different like whole different story whole different set of like wonders and um and joys um that said i really do genuinely like oh god can i get a break oh you got you were naughty chapman you were bad so you're gonna get a yellow card for for naughtiness that was very naughty look at you with the trailing that's very bad i'm glad that you i hope that you Get another one of those, and we have to play ten against ten people. It's funny that, that uh, the Wimbly Wombly players apparently thought that I was going to attempt to cross, when anyone who knows me knows that I can't. Here we go. Crossing the boxes has to be. Oh, and it isn't. Disappointing finish from Green Eggs and Sheringham. I've heard that he's not that good at finishing, actually. Um, so here we go. Here we go. We're just going to turn it all around here in the last 10 minutes. So I think, like, um, yeah, I can't judge them objectively. That's my point. Um, so when I was making that, I was kind of, like, trying to honor the opinion of my childhood self, um, for whom, you know, The Hobbit especially, but all the Lord of the Rings books were really important. Like, um, they just felt so different and far and real and they were books that my dad had loved too so like it was something that I could it was the first time I think I read a book that my dad really liked like really liked and um he's I think he's pretty proud of me at least in my memory for for reading reading The Hobbit and like getting into it and um like being able to talk about it with him and that was that's something there's something so cool about that like when you're able to when your parents kind of even for a second can treat you like a like an actual proper grown-up um now, of course, I have that pleasure all the time, but it's much more pleasurable when you're, like, 11, you know, than it is when you're, like, 36. So, but, yeah, I am, I am still lucky to have parents who treat me like a grown-up. I don't want to take anything away from that because lots of people uh, don't, have, don't have such parents. So, uh, yeah, that's good. What? Is that the end of the game? I lost? Oh, just another standard nil-nil draw. Well, we are not as good without the John Greens as I had hoped. Um... Important lessons to be gleamed. Uh, Hard-working point away from home. I don't know. I'm trying to find the silver lining here. Thank you, Oliver, for donating. Sorry about the poor play that I delivered on your special project for Awesome Day. Best wishes.